Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that deals with evaluating an expression. Here we have x to the power of 5 defined as 1 and we know that x is not 1. Now we are going to evaluate power of 5 of 1 over x squared plus x plus 1 plus 1 over x squared minus x plus 1. Let's see how we are going to do that now. To do this, I'm going to start with simplifying what I have for this fraction. I'm going to start with writing just a single fraction and combining both terms to simplify things a little bit further. So for the top of this single fraction, I'm going to have x squared minus x plus 1 plus x squared plus x plus 1. Now you can see that I can remove x from top of, top of this fraction and then I can write it as 2 times x squared plus 1. Now for bottom, I'm going to need to simplify things a little bit further. So I'm going to rearrange this to have x squared plus 1 plus x and x squared plus 1 minus x. And then let's assume that this is a new term A and then B. Now you can see that this is an identity. We have A plus B times A minus B as A squared minus B squared. Based on this, I'm going to simplify and write it as X squared plus 1 to the power of 2 minus X to the power of 2. Now I need to simplify things a little bit further. To do this, let's start with what I have for this fraction. So I have this power of 2 of x squared plus 1. Remember a plus b to the power of 2 can be written as a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab. Now I can rewrite what I have here as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 which is x to the power of 4 plus 2 times x squared plus 1 minus x squared which is going to be x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus 1 so at the end what I have for the whole thing is going to be 2 times x squared plus 1 over x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus 1 so this is the final thing that I need to evaluate now let's, let's see how we are going to evaluate this to do this I'm going to go back to what we had for the problem remember we had this x to the power of 5 defined as 1 and I'm going to say that x to the power of 5 minus 1 is 0 and I will use an identity here which is basically x minus 1 times x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus x and finally plus 1 we need to have this as 0 we already know that x is not 1 so this cannot be 0 and we have this as 0. What does it mean for us? Now, if we want to simplify things a little bit further, we can say that it's going to be x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 plus 1 equals to negative x times x squared plus 1. Remember, I just moved x cubed and x to the right hand side. Now, let's use it for simplification but we need to remember what we had before to do this let's go back a little bit remember we started to find this expression so it is power of 5 of 2 times x squared plus 1 and for bottom I have x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus 1 this is something that I have here too so I'm going to rewrite the expression now I'm going to use whatever I found so for bottom I'm going to write it as 
minus x times x squared plus 1 to the power of 5. So it's going to be minus 2 times x to the power of 5. Minus 2 to the power of 5 is negative 32 and then we have x to the power of 5 and we know that x to the power of 5 is 1 so the answer is going to be negative 32 thanks for watching the video if you would like to see more puzzles maths involved activities and problems from different maths competitions and olympiads please subscribe to this channel this is the sqrt channel and i hope to see you in the next videos